I'll have it poured about two o'clock. Or maybe 2.30. <laughs> they say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. All right, today's the day we start <clears throat> getting ready for landscaping the front yard. We got a mud slab for laying the bricks on top of it all the way from the front door out to where the steps go up to the road. We've got a foundation slab for the block retainer wall starting over there and it's kind of horseshoe shapes around to here. And this footing goes out to the car parking area. There's to be a retainer wall there where this dirt will stay up here on the top side and then this can be graded and uh, finished on the lower side. This will be a picket fence along the top of this wall. It'll start out over there and come around. It'll have an opening and then you come down the brick steps and the brick pathway to the front door. And then the picket fence will come all the way to the corner. And I think it'll just stop right there and then this will be open here. You'll be able to walk out of the car and come over and come down the steps and go in the house. Or go around beside the house and come in this way. Footings are just the support for the concrete block retainer wall. And the, we'll have a picket fence on top of it. We got some sleeves for future sprinkler lines or, and we're putting, there'll be some drainage in here that'll just go around beside the building on each side. The footings actually was gonna be a little bit farther out, but when I uncovered that big rock and we couldn't move it, I thought, well, there's a good spot right there to stop the footing. <laughs> so that kind of negotiated where we was gonna put the footing. It's just a little bit shorter, just a few inches, not much, but there wasn't no need in trying to tear up a track hole to get that out for, just a few inches in length out from the port. I've always tried to learn everything I could about construction because, you know, if you're going to be a construction person, you need to know all you can. And anything you learn benefits you because then you're more valuable of an employee if you more you can do.